and i i would suspect a lot of it is perception and sensing and knowing something without it being an absolute hollywood production movie that they're involved in but it's just like that i mean if i went into all the detail of the things that i'm where i am right now it could describe it like that but i, I wouldn't receive it that way it's not like i'm sitting watching a movie i'm there doing things that i am knowing what i'm doing sensing what i'm doing that to me is the important thing and a lot of people are on a journey each of us is on a journey to become more mature in our sonship and in our relationship with god and the key in all of this is not so much what you see but what you know that you know that you know because what you know that truth will set you free and enable you and equip you and that truth is an experiential truth whether you experience it by feelings whether you experience it by senses whether you experience it by visual things what i would say a lot of people who strive to be seers i don't think you would really want to be like the seers that i've encountered because i've had encounters with people who have amazing visionary experiences and they've got not a clue about what they're seeing or what they're seeing it or what's it about you know therefore it's not about just having some sort of experience it's having the knowledge and understanding and wisdom of that experience that brings a maturity to us so that then we learn from those experiences and that informs us so that we then can be more mature in what we do in the future so i would definitely you know don't look at anybody else don't look at the so-called leaders don't look at me in reality just begin to tune in to the right wavelength to the right frequency within that wavelength so things become more clear and less sort of static noise if you like and even on the old tv sets you know when when but before the channels came on it was just like sort of static noise and then they'd put up the test card and then you'd be just looking at a still image but then eventually the program would start and then you'd be seeing the images of the program that was on and you had to change channel to see different things you know so i think just relax enjoy and allow the father to take you on the journey that you need to go and that for you will be different for me than anyone else and that's perfectly okay and you know a lot of people say well i'm just doing it by faith as if that's a bad thing At the end of the day it's like we all need to engage with the desire that something's going to happen when we engage a lot of the engaging that we have is in the realm of the spirit and not necessarily always in the realm of the soul so a lot of people said oh nothing happened i guarantee something happened it may not have happened that they were able to tune into it with their soul but their spirit was definitely tuning in so don't be disappointed if sometimes you think nothing's happening because your spirit will absolutely be engaging and eventually your spirit can release that knowledge to you in different ways again sometimes you just think how did i know that where did that come from now along with these things the brain operates on a different set of frequencies there's beta waves, which is what most people do most of the time when their eyes are open and they're problem solving. And left brain people operate a lot in beta waves. That is their norm and the normal brain function. But when you close your eyes and you sort of shut out the information coming to you, alpha waves can kick in, which is a slower brain wave function, which is designed to connect to creativity. So it's designed to connect with things that you don't necessarily know as information, but insights or things that are formed within you. And there are also the other waves, delta waves and theta waves and gamma waves. And sometimes that's communing into the spiritual frequency that your spirit can communicate information because it's coming out of heaven. Sometimes the Holy Spirit operates on those waves and they did some experiments at night on people who were asleep and they found that when people entered into delta wave sleep which is normally when you're in a deep sleep then sometimes they had theta waves coming into it 
and then often when they checked out that person will have had could be a dream or just a thought that and they had an answer to what their thinking was because they would get them to think about something before they went to sleep when they went to sleep some people had almost information come to them in the night from another source and that's again drawing maybe from a heavenly source or from an angelic source or drawing from the spirit you know so again again all these things i think we can have all of those things fully functioning in maturity but we just have to set up the intention and desires of our heart on it and then rest until that begins to form as you just spend time in the presence of god and enjoy being in that presence let him love you just relax and then just begin to see what comes you know don't try too hard just see what comes and hopefully you know you'll find the way the wavelength that works for you and the frequency that works for you and then you'll find it easier to tune in to those spiritual wavelengths because they're they're not physical but they are designed for us to receive information and the perception of what god is trying to communicate to us which is the most important thing at the end of the day if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much